Luigi's Mansion 3, aka Hotel Luigi. Sure was nice of the princess to invite us over for a vacation, eh, Luigi? She better have made lots of spaghetti. Man, it's crazy that it's been 18 years since the last Luigi's Mansion game. Ouch! Yup, 18 long years since a good Luigi's Mansion game. Bang, bang. I love Luigi's Mansion so much. The spooky atmosphere, the new style of gameplay, and most importantly, giving Luigi the well-deserved spotlight of being a hero. So yeah, you could definitely say I was hyped for this. So, let's not waste any more time and jump straight into Luigi's Mansion 3. Well, that's much more colorful and happy than I would have thought. Awesome! So the game starts off with an absolutely gorgeous and adorable cutscene. Seriously, there's so much character and charm packed into this little 10 minute opening. The gang is on a bus heading to a resort hotel that they randomly received in the mail. Come on, Luigi, this is 100% your fault, whatever happens. Everyone is excited for this trip. Mario and Peach, Blue and Yellow Toad, and Luigi sitting by himself in the back. Oh, this game has Ghost Dog, instant 10 out of 10. And yes, you can pet the dog in Luigi's Mansion 3. Here we go. Denied! This game is absolutely beautiful. Now, despite my joke at the beginning of the video, I never played Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. So for me, when I think of Luigi's Mansion, I think of the GameCube and its graphics in 2001. So just seeing how beautiful everything is portrayed on the Switch makes me smile like crazy. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, this game keeps going up and up in quality. What do you have to say, Toads? <laughs> Sorry. And what about you, totally not suspicious concierge who's 100% not a ghost and is a human? We then get showed to our rooms by our lovely host, Helen Gravely, who I swear I didn't look up any inappropriate pictures online to. But again, man, these rooms and this hotel is absolutely stunning. I want to stay here. Maybe this game is going to be something different. Maybe Luigi's Mansion 3 is going to be a relaxing and happy game. Ah! Huh? Well, that didn't last long. Yeah, not even one night in and something mysterious is afoot. Our beautiful welcoming room is now dark, ominous, and threatening. Ah! Who put that in there? As it turns out, of course this wasn't going to be a relaxing vacation our heroes thought it would be. Because Mrs. Rule 34 over here released King Boo from his painting and is now out for revenge against Luigi, already capturing Mario, Peach, and the Toads. Okay, listen here, King Boo. I've already kicked your butt once before, and I'm not afraid to do it again. Oh, holy crap, I'm so sorry, please don't hurt me. Oh, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> ah, I knew I couldn't trust that. And from here on out, you'll be busting ghosts and saving your friends, all while exploring this haunted hotel. The strongest asset Luigi's Mansion has always had, in my opinion, was its atmosphere. And Luigi's Mansion 3 definitely delivers on atmosphere and character every step of the way. Literally, Luigi still walks around like he knows a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare is coming. And whenever Luigi does get scared, he flinches and even walks still all shaken up, even if it's not from a ghost. I really love this detail because I'm the same way. Whenever I go somewhere dark and something normal falls over, I'm still completely on edge. Something else I really enjoy is having Polterpup follow you around. At first, I was kind of torn on this. I really liked being alone in Luigi's Mansion 1, exploring the dark and relying only on myself. However, I obviously grew to love having this pupper around because it added a new layer of fear that I hadn't considered. You really want to protect Polterpup and make sure nothing bad happens to him. So, when something kinda does, it makes you really scared for him. 
The gameplay has also really evolved from Luigi's Mansion 1. Again, I'm talking about this game from the perspective of someone who didn't play Dark Moon. So in Luigi's Mansion 1, all you really had to do was shine your light on a ghost and suck them up. Here, however, you can charge up your light and somehow basically flashbang multiple ghosts and concuss them. You can then suck them up, and if you manage to get a good enough grip on the ghost, you can slam them over and over like they owe you money. Where's the money? There's also this boost thing where the poltergust basically farts really strong and moves around the environment. It's pretty funny. Another new useful addition is the dark light. This allows us to look through walls and find ghosts much easier, saving us time from having to open up every single door in this hotel to find what we're looking for. And of course, who could forget our boogery friend, Gooigi? Gooigi is another invention from Professor E. Gad, molded completely after Luigi to assist him in his old age in catching ghosts. It's kind of a cute sentiment that E. Gad deemed Luigi so valuable that he molded his helper in his image. Gooigi can do pretty much everything Luigi can, plus more, and also less. For example, Gooigi can squeeze into tight places that a human body couldn't. This can help you nab some extra coins and cash. The downside of Gooigi, however, is that he can't touch water. He's H2O intolerant, and will immediately disintegrate and die. This forces you to use a little more brain power to solve puzzles. Man, this game is huge, adding so many new things! What else do you have in store for us, Egad? The... Uh... The Virtual... Boo! It's a state-of-the-art virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Really cutting-edge stuff, and red is all the rage you know. Oh my gosh, Nintendo really doesn't care anymore. Just wait until I finish the marketing materials on this. It'll fly off the shelves. <laughs> so, in Luigi's Mansion 3, the virtual boo is portable? Yeah, my ass is portable! You can barely find a way to comfortably play this big red ugly piece of- Now, I didn't think that the Game Boy Horror would make a return. If anything, I was expecting a 3DS kind of spooky pun piece of technology. Like, a Scream DS. I'm trying my best here. Anytime you open up the pause menu, you'll be seeing red. It's so hilarious and obscure. I love it. This must be one of the worst designs for any invention in history. Summing up Luigi's Mansion 3 in one word would have to be... character. Everything feels so alive in the game. In the first game, it was only the boss ghosts that were given any kind of personality. But here, even the grunts have some personality. Some of them wear cute little hotel employee hats, and if they're not on the clock looking for Luigi, they're brushing their cute little ghost teeth. I feel like a creeper spying on these ghosts. Early on in the game, you'll have to rescue Professor E. Gad, and I love his voice! It literally sounds like they just ripped the audio files from the GameCube and just added them here. Luigi's Mansion 3 has given me something that I've really been craving recently. A sense of exploration. Yeah, kind of a weird compliment to give, but hear me out. It took me months to beat Mario Odyssey because I just never really felt that enveloped in it, personally. But with Luigi's Mansion 3, I want to keep exploring this hotel and see what other cute and derpy ghosts I'll encounter. The bosses are one of the big highlights in the series, seeing what creative ways Luigi has to fight the undead. Now, I'm not gonna spoil any of the real fun ones, but I will talk about one that was easily my favorite. That enough should make you fall in love. So here you're battling a giant rubber monster on this fake city set, similar to an old school Godzilla movie. This also makes Luigi ginormous and looks like a monster himself. It's such a fun setup with fireballs and city destruction. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3 just keeps grabbing your attention, just like the hotel itself. I really, really love, love, love the design of this hotel. It's so gothic and spooky. Remember how I said at the beginning of the video that I want to stay at this hotel when it was all bright and pretty? Well, now that it's dark and haunted, I want to even more! 
Now, did the game actually scare me at any point? Well, no. But again, I was a really young kid when the first Luigi's Mansion came out. So, I'm pretty impervious to- HOLY CRAP, IS THAT A SPIDER?! GET THE HECK AWAY FROM ME! <laughs> so, final verdict. How is Luigi's Mansion 3? It's awesome. I mean, come on, when has Luigi's Mansion ever disappointed? That's right, never! The hotel is such a nice change of pace for a setting. There's more floors, more rooms to explore, more spooks, and the Mario theme plays when you walk close to Mario! Yeah, 11 out of 10. However, it is a shame that they didn't just call this game Hotel Luigi. I mean, come on, the opportunity was right there! And Nintendo clearly isn't embarrassed about past failures. <laughs> well, hey, you know what they say. All toasters, toast toast. <laughs> <laughs>